Hello friends, it's Sarah, and today I am doing my July bullet journal setup. So the tarot cards I have today are the sun, which represents happiness, pleasure in simple things, openness, and contentment. And as you can see, this month's theme is based off of the Heartstopper graphic novel. I've been obsessed with it just like everyone else, and I thought the sun represented the relationship between Nick and Charlie. They're so cute together, they bring out the best in each other, and they have a really good like open communication, and they're just they're so content, so I thought the sun represented them perfectly. The other tarot card that I have is the Six of Swords, and that represents a journey to a new place, taking good things with you, success after anxieties. I was mostly focusing on the journey part because I have a couple of vacations coming up, and I'm really excited about them, so I'm hoping that the card will represent good things on these vacations. So just like last month's spread, I did not want to try and draw Nick and Charlie because I'm sure I would butcher Alice Oseman's art and they don't deserve that. So I printed out a whole bunch of little comics, but I did think that I could mostly emulate the Heartstopper style lettering. So I did draw out July 2022 in those bubble letters that are a little bit crooked and not all lined up properly. And then I had printed out the iconic Heartstopper leaves and trace those onto the background of the page because I was like, there. this is like a pretty simple shape. I am sure I can trace over and draw these little leaves. And I was right. And they're super cute and pretty easy to draw. I tried to draw one freehand and it didn't work. So maybe I shouldn't say that, but they're pretty easy to trace and they're just like a fun little background without being too busy or too complicated. But it still lets me do a little bit of drawing because I did miss doing some of the drawing in last month's um, setup. After I glued down all of my little cut out pieces of paper, I colored in the July 2022 with my Zebra Mild Liner. And then I picked out some pencil colors to color in the leaves in the background. I kind of wanted to go for those like pastel heartstopper colors. So I've got some like blues and greens and oranges and pinks. So I don't know about y'all, but I <laughs> binge watched Heartstopper. And then as soon as I finished it, I watched it again. And then um, earlier in June, I watched it a third time with one of my friends who hadn't seen it yet. So I'm like a little bit obsessed with the show. I read some of the comics online, I believe, um, but I did read all of the like published books. And then I also went onto Webtoon and read all of the comics that are currently out. Uh, and it's just so great. It's so heartwarming. Their relationship is so sweet and yet it still touches on so many important topics like mental illness and coming out and figuring out your sexuality but in such like a loving and tender way and I really just love all the characters in this series and I thought that the Netflix show did an incredible job of adapting it as well because while it is like very true and faithful to the original comics it does have some changes but I think they really stick to like the heart of the story and they only like enhance the characters and their relationships. So I, it was an excellent job and I only wish that all book to movie slash book to TV show adaptations could be this well done because I was just so blown away by how wonderful it was. And then once I was done coloring in the leaves, I started on my sleep tracker. It's, it's the same every month. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know how this goes, but if not, I just track my hours that I sleep in the night. I start at 8 p.m. and then I finish at 12 noon. I usually don't sleep most of those hours, but sometimes my sleep schedule is a bit wonky. It has gotten a lot better than it used to be, but I have like weird 
work shifts, so sometimes it can be kind of funky. And then I also track how many hours I slept that night and what my energy is like that day. Um, June was not fabulous. I've had a lot of very tired days, partially from like working early in the morning, partially from God, I don't even know. I have no idea why. So why I haven't been sleeping so much in June, but there's definitely been, I feel like the first week of June and like the last week of June, I just like have not had any sleep. So that's been great. <laughs> I chose a nice pink washi tape for the edge of my page. I just thought it kind of matched the dreamy pastel heartstopper aesthetic. Then on this spread, I have my monthly calendar. This month is very satisfying because it ends on like a perfect week. So I have a Monday through Sunday as my last week. And I cannot explain how exciting it was to have that, um, that perfect like flat line at the bottom. July 2022 in those Heartstopper inspired letters again at the top. draw a little kind of like shadow around the edge of the calendar as well as the little to-do box on the side um, just because it it's kind of fun it's like a really easy thing to do but it makes it pop a little bit more which is nice then my next spread is my first weekly spread I traced over the iconic like little speech bubbles that say hi and hi um maybe hi can be our always fault in our stars anyone but um <laughs> i traced over those because they were pretty small and i thought they were cute and they're like a pretty iconic scene i also have that scene on my front page of july so i, I just wrote the date in the speech bubble and then the day of the week after it and use my mild liners in different colors to just add a little bit of interest by highlighting the line where the day of the week is written. And that is my July bullet journal setup. Uh, let me know if you guys have watched Heartstopper and or read Heartstopper because I just honestly can't get over how amazing and wonderful it is and would love to chat with more people about it. So let me know in the comments if you've watched or read it. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you next time.